Hey everybody, it is day 22 of growing, making, eating our own food. What am I up to today? Well, the growing part took a little kick in the shins with that storm that came through. So as you could see uh, from the greenhouse video I did about when I killed Frank, um, there's lettuce out there, I could harvest it, and we do have a fridge full of lettuce. I harvested the last of the radishes and the asparagus that was ready, so I have all those things. And of course, we're still getting fresh eggs and that kind of thing. So, um, but what can I do in the making? Okay, well, uh, hanging in the background here, you can see Glenn has the cream cheese happening. Um, and I did start a new Frank. This is only day two for Frank. I haven't added its next thing to it yet because I was hoping to see a little bit of action out of it. But uh, so I think I'm going to just add some more flour and a little bit of extra water this time because I'm not sure that uh, for whatever reason the half a cup of flour to a quarter cup of water is working out for me very well. So today, what is happening, while well, I have this uh, container of pasteurized cream, and I have some uh, just store-bought buttermilk. Now, this is not really buttermilk, because buttermilk is what comes off the butter, uh, or, yeah, off the butter when you make it. It's the stuff that doesn't get turned into butter. So what's happening today is that I'm going to be making our own sour cream. I have made sour cream before using sour cream as a starter from a store-bought version and it was okay but I feel like um, doing it this way is going to be better. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use one cup of the pasteurized cream and one quarter cup of the buttermilk. I'm going to mix them together and then you put a cloth over that and leave it on the counter for 24 to 48 hours. Sounds delicious. So that's what I'm up to today. So here is my future sour cream. I doubled the recipe so I got two cups of cream and one half cup of buttermilk. And you might be asking yourself or asking me, you might be thinking, Nat, how do I know when the sour cream is going to be done? Well, when the sour cream is firm and not milky like that, very liquidy, then you've got yourself some good sour cream. And you could also taste it along the way. Morning, burps. Oh, hello. Hey. Oh, looks like you made your water all dirty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, give you some fresh straw today. Little oh, brown layers. Oh, you guys too. Look at you got straw everywhere. In your food, in your water. Turkeys. These are much neater. Look, hardly a mess at all. Nice job. Good morning. Hello. Hey. We changed our light from red to white. I don't know if that helps. I don't know if it's better. That sure makes better video. Okay, let's get you some fresh water. Oh, the weirdos in your house. What is she doing? Well, I put a little bit of fresh straw down. And I don't want the house to start on fire when they're flipping around. So I'm just going to step on it. And they're all upset about it. Just chill, man. My goodness. There. Now you've got your poop covered. I seem pretty excited to check out the new straw. Of course there's little bits of hay in there. They don't really know what to eat. 
Glenn made a good point. They try to eat anything that they think will fit in their mouth, and some stuff that won't. So, they think that they found something interesting. Everybody will chase them around and try to get part of it. But I just thought of a couple more things that I would like to do today. So, we've been out of yogurt for a day, so I'm like, oh, okay, well, 18 was all upset because of the boyfriend moving in, and so she only gave Glenn a half a gallon of milk last night. So I'm going to use that milk to make the yogurt because it's just the right amount. But you'll notice I have three jars on the counter. So what's up next? Well, back to this new book I got, Home Fermentation. Thank you, Catherine Green. I'm making the fermented blackberry jam. You heard me right, fermented blackberry jam. I'm pretty excited to try this. Check out the ingredients and the instructions. There you go. Couldn't be easier. Can't wait to do it. Can't wait to try it. Leave it to ferment for two days on the counter and then refrigerate. Nice. Okay, so that is what is up to finish today. I'm going to tell you it wasn't as busy a day. Did a little baking, did a little weeding, did a little experiment with the onions, and uh, that's pretty much it. How could a person go wrong with those kind of ingredients on the counter? That's actually brandy. I don't know what happened to the jar. I'm pretty sure there was some evaporation that happened there. These are some pitta cherries that I borrowed my mother-in-law's pitter to do. Thank you very much, Diane. This is the recipe that I'm making. Fermented cherries. So there you go, you can read that. So I've got the cherries pitted and I've got the sugar and the water on the pot boiling, simmering to make a syrup. And while that's making syrup, I'm doing this video, of course, on that side of this book again. Thank you again, Catherine Green. She doesn't even know me, but man, I'm plugging her book like crazy. Okay, so in the meantime, I'm going to take out half of my new starter, which I'm going to call Francine, because I'm going to say fur anyway, so I might as well call it Francine. Thanks, Tanner, for that suggestion. Okay, so I'm going to take out half of Francine, and I'm going to feed it and let it keep bubbling. See all this beautiful bubbles? Nice. Good job, Francine. Okay, and hopefully no, no more of the brandy evaporates while I'm waiting. One more thing about this. As you can see in the recipe, if you've taken the time to read it, it sits on the counter for two weeks to one month. So that's pretty cool. Gonna be yummy. For adults only though. Sorry guys. This is some sour cream that I started. Today is Friday, um, day before, the first day of summer, certainly summery out today. Anyway, so I started this, this is its third day, um, and it was two cups of cream and one half cup of uh, store-bought buttermilk. So Glenn and I tried some last night. You can see the consistency is still a little runny. And the flavor, it was starting to sour, but it's not quite where we want it to be yet. So we're going to leave it on the counter uh, for a little bit longer. Who would have thought that 
four months ago, I would have never told you that I was leaving cream on the counter to go sour to eat it on a yummy baked potato or something or in a dip. Like, weird. But it's going to be delicious. So you can see that I have to put sticky notes with everything that I'm doing because I won't remember when I started things. You can see the color has changed a little bit on the blackberries, okay? And there is some pressure on the lid from inside the jar. So it's time for this to go into the fridge and um, yeah, we can start using it tomorrow when it's cooled off. Yum. I can't wait. Oh yeah, and I also put masking tape notes on it so that when we find this mystery thing in the fridge that's almost eaten but not quite, we know when it's time to get rid of it. Hi Mochi. <laughs> that's cute. Getting some snuggle time. <laughs>